was a reminder for myself that I'm Abdul so da'ifu, miskeen, o zalim, o jahad. And but for the grace of Allah that we are still in existence, we'll continue with the sobats but a reminder that so many people are sending in that, Shaykh we want to take bayat, alhamdulillah, Shaykh we want to have stronger connection, alhamdulillah, Shaykh we want to be deeper in the reality and that opens the reality of support and the support to the tariqah and it's a chain in these days of difficulty it's like you are making not only a rope to the shaykh but you're making a chain to the shaykh. Because the more you support the tariqah, the more you support the projects, the more you support what the shaykh is involved in, this is like your tuition and what's forbidden and what's allowed. Forbidden is to have a tuition at the door and say that you can't come to the reality without giving something, that's forbidden because we read Surah the Yaseen, they ask nothing from you as a fee for this guidance. So the, the videos are free, you see them being broadcasted for free all over YouTube, the postings are all free all over Facebook, don't get two things mixed up. The door is free for every reality, this is the way Allah propagate knowledge but if you want your connection stronger then they want you to tie a rope to the shaykh. And in days like difficulty this is not even a rope, this is like a metal chain. The more you commit yourself by giving, uh, giving to the tariqah, by supporting, by, by producing, by getting a book, by volunteering, by putting your time, if you don't have any sweat into the game you're just a spectator. Right, so you're watching sports, the people are going back and forth, you're sitting on your couch and saying, hooray, hooray. You're not in a game, you're just watching them. So of course you feel worried at night that, I just seem to be watching them. But these gentlemen have a lot of blood, sweat and tears into this game. They sit day and night producing videos, writing books, putting out posts, running a center, doing everything. Doing everything possible and how we look into the reality is then we support. That when you go out and you work hard and you struggle for what you get and then the tariqah knows that in these difficult days you struggle and when you take from what you get and you give towards this way you feel at night that, here you go guys, I'm supporting this video, I'm supporting these projects, I'm supporting this, this uh, propagation, how much they pay for YouTube, how much they put on cameras, how much they pay for internet. I'm supporting that by working and giving towards that, you are building now a look onto the shaykhs. And anyone who knows that anything they paid for, they appreciate a lot better. You know when you pay for a subscription or you pay for school and you had to pay and you had to go work and pay for your class for your tuition, you're the first one to show up in the class. If you didn't pay and somebody else paid you don't even show up for class and then they keep asking you, your parents, how come you don't go, no, no I don't, I'll go later. But if you see some of these students that they work their way through school, they sat and sold coffee so they can pay for their course. They're the first people to show up in the course because they have some sweat in the game, they're participating in it and Allah knows that reality. Your heart becomes locked in it. Then you're not going to be the people who keep emailing that, I want to go to this shaykh, I'll watch this shaykh, I'll do this shaykh. If you're going to support all of them then congratulations. But if you're supporting none of them and you're just watching everything, it's like a couch potato, you're just sitting on the couch and woohoo, look they're doing good, they're doing good. This, this tariqah and this way that Allah is giving is to make your faith to be real. When you make your faith real, we're not coffee shop people that only talk about a reality. I want to be with Sayyidina Mahdi salam. oh I want to go and fight with Sayyidina Mahdi salam. the fight's already begun, how come you're not here? What are you waiting for? Who do you think is propagating all these uh, attacks against every false knowledge? We gave talks before that every knowledge that comes out like a bazooka against their, their teachings. 
when the city is teaching Wahhabi teachings, when people are propagating falsehood and lies and ignorance. These haqqaiqs that come out like a bazooka hit into the city and begin to smash all their walls, smash all their falsehood, Who, whose flag is that? Already Sayyidina Mati is, is marching, it's marching with knowledges and haqqaiqs and why are you sitting on the couch and not doing anything? Not participating and, and waiting for a day that what, you, you're going to when they start to run on the street, you're too tired then. So means the, the, the fight has already begun. It's the fight of knowledge and for the heart and minds of people that wake up from what Dajjal is saying and what he's teaching. And we told you before Dajjal is not coming to you to make you Christian and Jewish, he's coming to corrupt your Islam. And that's why we read on all these ayat al kareem they're going to wake up astonished that how they ended up in Allah's anger thinking that they were believing. Dajjal come to Muslims and take away their belief. The, the true belief is in the reality and the love of Allah and the love of Sayyidina Muhammad and Dajjal is going to take like a little brick by brick away, away so that you think it's just Allah, La illallah, that's it. You begin to forget about Muhammadun Rasulullah astaghfirullah alazim and that's Dajjal's plan and you see it, you see it with their madhabs. They have no respect, they have no understanding for that reality. People are even becoming angrier on the internet. They come to the channel and they leave comments whom they used to be believers in the reality, they leave angry comments, what's this foolishness, stick with Qur'an and hadith because they see a thumbnail. The level of ignorance is they saw a thumbnail but they didn't watch the talk. There's not a single talk that doesn't involve Holy Qur'an and Holy Hadith, it's just you don't know the Qur'an and you must not understand any of the hadith for anyone to say something like that. So means it's all there but Dajjal is coming taking the hearts of the Muslims. So that why? To take any type of power away from you, take any type of light from your heart. If you don't have the love of Sayyidina Muhammad what going to save you? Talk all you want about everything but if you're not involving that talk with the love and, and reverence for Sayyidina Muhammad what iman is going to grow into the heart of people. So that's why if you like the channel, you like the, the way that everything's doing then you support, you get involved, you participate. That participation is like a lock and you're less likely to run away So oh I'm too committed to these people, I've been involved in a long time where I'm going to go and re-establish and remake my connection and then re-volunteer for everything. It's a lock onto the heart of people and especially as the wind becomes stronger and stronger and stronger, make your lock to be even stronger, not looser so that you blow in the wind that, oh can I go run out here, can I go out to this city, can I go here, can I go there? It's shaitan playing with you that in the middle of this difficulty where to run, where's your safety? So. Our advice always for ourselves and, and we lived our life with that reality that you want a stronger connection, participate more. Pay your tuition, get involved, make it something that you're so involved in that you're going to force yourself to sit on Thursday night, Friday night, Saturday night and that it opens the reality of iman because Allah is the one whom grants the reward. Allah said, look how much faith, how much that person is doing, how much that person is committed. Allah grants the faith into the heart, the love and the ishq of Sayyidina Muhammad But for your nafs it ties with a bond because you tell your nafs, how I'm going to go watch someone else, I'm very committed, he's about to start, I've been supporting, of course I'm going to participate. So inshaAllah Allah make for those whom have been asking through emails and a lot of them coming in how to make it strong, how to make it strong. No doubt the salawats, not all the practices but to make the connection strong so that you don't go bouncing around tuning on every channel possible, participating everywhere possible is make your commitment and your loyalty. As you're committed then lock it in, lock it in, lock it in. 
so that the faith grows and that becomes like the, the example of Sahabi. They were not going everywhere, they were sitting and they were giving their life to Sayyidina Muhammad life and death. Anyone waiting for Sayyidina Mahdi is already begun and the first step is knowledge and propagation of knowledge. When Hasmunallahu wa ni'mal wakil, ni'mal mawla wa ni'mal nasir. That Allah is telling us from Holy Qur'an, put your faith and trust in Me, that I'm your mawla, I'm your, your, your guardian. There's nobody who can give you safety, there's no, no one who can inject you with safety, there's no protection and safety except by Allah and if Allah is your guardian and your protector, it's enough for you to drink water and everything to vanish. But we are not reaching to that level of faith. So tariqah is coming to teach us to reach there, to have the love of Sayyidina Muhammad do these practices, do these realities and enter into that immense love and ishq inshaAllah. Bi hurmati Muhammad and Mustafa wa siri Surat al-Fatiha.